we found the turtle, of course, it was in the rock. It was just starting to erode out of a bank of a little gully there in Wyoming. But this was a very different kind of turtle than the, the, the normal run-of-the-mill fossil turtles out there. And it was big. Last summer we went back with the ex excavation permit and it took us three days to, to dig it out of the rock. In order to collect it with its rock around it and everything and to be able to get it back to wherever we left the road, which was quite a ways from where the thing was, uh, we had to put a field jacket around it, and that's what the plaster and burlap thing with the tin foil and the uh, tissue paper is all about. We collect things, bones and rock and all, as best we can because the tedious job of getting the rock off from around the bones can best be done back at the lab, and we're working from underground up chipping away at the rock and what we're using are a array of miniature jackhammers. Uh, much of the work at this stage is just with hobby glasses or young people's eyes. <laughs> and eventually some of the finished work is done under a microscope. Generally for every day you spend collecting something you can spend weeks or months or maybe even years getting the preparation work done on this. 